Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After entering inventory parts into your item list, you need to order those items to keep your inventory parts stocked. While QuickBooks does not require that you use purchase orders, it is recommended. If you use purchase orders, you can see what items you have ordered and when they are due to be received. You will also be able to compare the items that you receive against the items listed within the purchase order. If you don't order items in advance, or just don't want to use purchase orders, you can buy inventory directly by using the Items tab that appears within the Write Checks window, as well as the Enter Credit Card Charges window, to select the inventory items that you will purchase from vendors. You can create a purchase order by selecting Vendors from the menu bar, and then choosing the Create Purchase Orders command. You can select a vendor from the vendor drop-down at the top of the window to fill in the vendor data within the form. Then enter the date of the purchase order into the date field. The next available purchase order number will appear within the PO number field. If you have multiple shipping addresses, select the name of the shipping address to send the items to from the Ship To drop-down field. Then click into the first row under the item column in the line item area and select the name of the inventory part item that you would like to order. The information for the selected inventory part will then appear within the description and write columns within the form, but you can change it if needed. You then enter the number of items to order into the quantity field. The amount shown will be calculated by QuickBooks by multiplying the quantity by the rate. You can then repeat this process until you've entered all of the items needed within the purchase order. If you want to enter a message to the vendor, you can enter the message into the Vendor Message field. You can enter a memo into the Memo field if needed. Once you've completed the purchase order form, you can click the Save and Close button to save the purchase order and close the window, or you can click the Save and New button to save the purchase order and then open another new purchase order form. Now after you initially create a purchase order, QuickBooks then creates an account called Purchase Orders within the chart of accounts. This is a non-posting account type created by QuickBooks, and it does not appear within your balance sheet or income statement. The Purchase Orders account is simply used to produce a quick report showing current purchase orders so that you'll always know what has been ordered. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free